I know for a fact that some of you guys watching this video, I want to say a good 10 people who watch this video, definitely more than that, but I'm just going to say that just for the sake of this video, at least 10 people have broken a controller playing NBA 2K20 and not even just the NBA 2K20, really any video game in general. There's a point that you reach where you just get extremely frustrated and you just pick up your controller and you throw it. Now, I used to do that, but I don't do it anymore because I realized that throwing my controller and breaking my controller over a video game doesn't really make sense anymore i definitely do understand though that when you get frustrated and when you get angry you don't really have the self-control in the heat of the moment and i get that but now as i've gotten older i've kind of come to the realization that there's really no point in breaking anything or getting extremely frustrated over i mean i still get extremely frustrated over but if i'm playing nba 2k20 and i get mad i simply just close the app now Speaking of getting extremely mad when playing NBA 2K20, Troy Dan was actually playing NBA 2K20 yesterday live on stream going 12 and 0. Now, Troy Dan got extremely frustrated and he ended up letting the letting 2K know essentially how this game is how it feels like playing NBA 2K20. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the clip and then we'll talk about it a little bit after. But here is the clip of Troy Dan almost losing his mind while playing NBA 2K20. Australia, it looks like tar and is very salty. Look it up. Shut up! I fucking hate this overdose. fucking game. I fucking hate it. I'm telling the fucking shoot and pass, and it doesn't. It fucking doesn't. <sighs> now, when this happened, obviously you could see that Troy Dan is extremely frustrated. I mean, it's happened to me before. If you guys played my team, you guys know what I'm talking about. But it's extremely frustrating. It basically gives you a extreme delay on when you can actually shoot the ball. So for example, you could pass to a wide open teammate and it would wait like a second for you to be able to actually shoot even though you're pressing the shoot button. It almost feels like an extremely long delay. So when that happens, it basically gives your, t your opponent time to recover and actually cover the open man who has an open shot so obviously that frustrated troy now someone tweeted this clip at me and i quote tweeted and i said troy this is how we all feel trust me now this actually got a lot of response within the 2k community shake it big actually replied and said if i had a dollar for every time that this stuff happened man i swear this year the game at random points just ignores random inputs and then los polos tv replied and said wait this is a part of the game i thought last night that my square button got jammed so this is a very popular thing that has happened within the 2k community if you go throughout this thread that i tweeted out there's so many things that people are talking about that are issues with nba 2k now this is a good thing though because at least troy dan was the one who spoke up and said something about this and fortunately there's people who follow me who work at 2k there's people who follow these other people who are tweeting out this tweet that work at 2k so hopefully they can look at this and and be like okay maybe we should focus on this for the next gen console of 2k because we all know that nba 2k20 on current gen is literally going to be the same thing it's going to be a copy and paste and then the improvement is going to be next gen so hopefully they can look at these tweets they can look at all this stuff and be like okay we need to focus on things like this when it comes to releasing the next game but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to drop a like make sure to subscribe to the channel and thank you guys very much for watching i'll see you guys next time and peace